Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you are new, welcome to our channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different if you are new and then also very nostalgic if you aren't. Today's video is going to be a Manifestation Wednesday video. I have been getting my inspiration, motivation back. I don't know, I didn't want to like make any inspiring videos or like things to get through life when I was kind of in a weird place because it would just be disingenuous but I feel like I've been getting a lot of inspiration and just hope lately and I feel like I want to share these like positive things online I know these probably don't get as much views as like my vlogs per se but I still want them to be a huge part of my channel if you are new manifestation Wednesday videos were basically law of attraction content that I posted every single Wednesday I kind of stopped that last year completely but I still threw in like motivational stuff here and there so I'm not going to be doing this like every single Wednesday but I still like I said want to put out inspirational content it's not going to be law of attraction based at all I I mean positive happiness like that kind of stuff is going to be what i'm going to be kind of basing this around so yeah welcome today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys four ways to kind of activate and hack your brain to be happy and release those happy chemicals there are four happiness chemicals that trigger happiness within our brains these brain chemicals are not meant to be released 24 7 they are used to be released in our brains to promote survival so they're not supposed to be like always going i think society puts a lot of pressure on us to be happy all the time but that's not something that we were made to do there are a whole bunch of different emotions i've actually talked about the importance of each emotion there are i think there's like five core emotions that we are given if you can understand and grasp why those emotions are happening you can fix them as they come i will pop a video on the screen of a video that i did about that um it's really interesting so if you like this video i feel like you'll like that one too i think we are well especially i lost a lot of my happiness this year and i was just like so interested in ways our brain work i like to get to the nitty-gritty i'm a very scientific logical person like i want to know about our mind i love mental health in a scientific way like i just really want to know the science behind it all so i actually did a podcast if you guys remember when i had a podcast i did a whole podcast episode on this so it may sound a little bit familiar but if you haven't here we are. So there are four happy chemicals that are released in our brain that give us the feelings of happiness. There's dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Those are the four chemicals that trigger happiness. So if you are ever feeling a little bit down, you can do certain things to release these chemicals in your brain. I'm going to be telling you guys about each one of the four chemicals when we get them what they make us feel the benefit of having these chemicals released and how we can use and hack our brain to release these chemicals so i'm going to start with dopamine dopamine is known as the reward chemical dopamine is released in your brain when you find what you seek so whether that be like checking off something on your to-do list people liking your instagram posts like little things like that that will release the trigger of dopamine in your brain when dopamine is released you have feelings of motivation and concentration so if you're ever lacking these maybe it has something to do with your dopamine levels it helps improve your sleep your mood it helps your growth potential obviously because you're feeling motivated your memory and attention span so how can we do this how can we release dopamine if we're feeling lack of motivation or concentration whatever it is if you are like hey I want to release some dopamine today what can we do to release that make a to-do list I'm not talking about just any to-do list don't put out like big tasks that you have for yourself break down your goals into manageable tasks and then every time that you cross off that little small task you will be motivated to keep going because your brain will be releasing dopamine so break down those bigger goals that you have and celebrate those small successes because that will give you motivation to keep on going this definitely is a reason as to why I say action leads to motivation motivation does not lead to action I also read in an article that you can actually use dopamine to change your behavior so let's say like you're a binge eater or you're an impatient person but you want to work on patience you have to reward your yourself and celebrate your behavior because when you do that you can release dopamine and your body will be motivated to keep doing it so if you let's say didn't binge for the day or you ate healthy for the day celebrate that write it on a to-do list like give yourself a reward a pat on the back like feel gratitude towards it whatever it is that you can do to celebrate that small win will release dopamine and make it easier to attain that goal because the dopamine gives you that motivation and drive to keep it going next we have oxytocin so this is the hugging chemical this is the bonding chemical this is our connection chemical we get oxytocin released when we are in physical contact with other people 
I feel like this year we have a lot of people that are missing oxytocin. Fun fact, it actually triggers the mother-infant bond for survival, obviously. We're social creatures, so oxytocin is a way to create that bond between human connection because without each other, we wouldn't have survived back in the way day. Oxytocin gives us feelings of friendship, love, bonding, trust, feelings of being calm and safe. What's like the benefit of oxytocin? Obviously, like I just said, it bonds us with human beings. It can actually help reduce addiction and stress. How can we release oxytocin? Obviously, cuddling with other people, sex, physical connection with other people. I don't encourage this right now because of COVID. So something that you can do instead is, if you have a pet, I don't, but if you have a pet, you can also cuddle your pet. And another fun fact is that if you make eye contact with your dog, it releases oxytocin for both of you guys. How cute is that? Scientists believe that that's why dogs were domesticated in the first place is because they just grew a bond with us based on the chemical release that we get when we look at each other in the eye. Isn't that insane and so cute? The next happy chemical that I wanna talk about is serotonin. So this is the mood chemical. This is like whether you're feeling down, happy. Serotonin is released when you get recognition from other people, when your gut health is in check. 80% of serotonin actually lives in your gut. This is not, I'm not promoting this, but drugs like those euphoric drugs give release serotonin in your brain but i'm not a scientist so i'm not like don't take my word for it but i'm pretty sure that how drugs work is that when you take drugs your serotonin levels go to a peak so high when you don't have drugs your brain will not be able to release the amount of serotonin that you got from that high that you get from drugs so even when you're extremely happy without those drugs, you will never be pleased and happy because you're always striving for that. Your brain now thinks this is like the highest peak of happiness. So when you're at a normal peak of serotonin, it's harder for your brain to be happy. That's why I think people get addicted and you know get hooked on drugs and they can't stop because they never reach their peak of serotonin and their brain isn't able to hit that high that they want to achieve. So don't do drugs, do not do drugs. It will fuck up your brain chemicals. The feelings that you get when you have serotonin, pride, loyalty, status, happiness, willpower, and confidence. It can improve your digestive system. Obviously it can help with depression and anxiety. It increases your libido, and then it actually heals wounds. So whenever your body is physically hurt, it actually uses serotonin to help heal whatever's happening with your body. A very easy way to get serotonin is through vitamin D, which is sunlight. Um, that's why a lot of people get seasonal depression is because they lack vitamin D and their so serotonin levels go down. You can also release serotonin through positive thinking and gratitude. Feeling important and valued is another good way to release serotonin. So you wanna hang out with people that make you feel good and happy and positive about yourself. Winning awards and like popularity status also is correlated to the serotonin levels in your brain. And then in terms of your gut health, you wanna be healthy, eat healthy gut friendly foods because like I said, 80% of serotonin is in your gut so that's when they say like your gut health is basically the second brain because the chemicals that make you happy are in your gut so if you're eating shitty food and you're not giving your body like good quality food obviously your serotonin levels are going to go down and you're not going to feel as happy and then exercise also helps play a part in serotonin as well but endorphins the fourth happy chemical is known as the exercise chemical. It's like the runner's high that you get after a good workout. It's basically nature's pain reliever. It will be released in your brain to help relieve pain and stress. It feels euphoric, which is why they call it a runner's high. If you guys have ever had a runner's high, you know what I'm talking about. You literally feel so blissful. Another thing that gives you this is opioids, which is why a lot of people, I said again, get addicted to drugs because again, it will increase the dependence of certain happy chemicals in your brain that you can't obtain without those drugs. So it's that's really sad, but there's a huge opioid epidemic right now in our country. And one of the reasons why is because of the high release of endorphins that it gives your brain not good. Anytime you mess with your brain chemicals and like your natural body state, I just feel like something is off, you know? And then what does this help? Like what's the benefit of endorphins? It's obviously to relieve uh, pain. The biggest way that you can get endorphins is through exercise. You guys know, like I just said, the runner's high is that feeling that you get after you, a good workout. It, it releases tons of endorphins. Other things that release endorphins are like a belly laugh, like a huge giggle laugh. Like you know that euphoric feeling that you feel like right after you literally can't stop laughing. Also listening to like really good music, music that you like, that blissful, almost like it's a euphoric feeling when you listen to like good music that you vibe with. So in conclusion, I found a graph online that kind of describes certain mental health problems and what chemical you could be lacking. Um, anxiety is known to be dopamine, which is the reward 
word chemicals so if you're ever feeling anxious or anything like that make sure that you are getting things done off your to-do list like getting stuff done if you're ever feeling depressed it could be correlated with dopamine again and serotonin levels if you're ever feeling happiness that could be correlated with the serotonin levels in your brain if you're ever feeling very lovey and good in terms of like relationships that's dopamine serotonin and oxytocin and then if you're ever feeling stressed a good way to maybe relieve that stress is get some endorphins going so working out and stuff like that yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is so much fun for me to film i feel so good i hope that one of you guys get a little bit of spark or inspiration to like do good things in your life and feel better um i hope that this helped at least one of you guys that's like the purpose of these videos if you guys like this style of video and you want more definitely let me know give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys.